Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. A little clarification, perhaps, on the new Nikon mirrorless full-frame cameras. We recently discussed, you probably saw the video, where we are talking about the July 23rd anticipated announcement date. That was based on an article from Engadget, and it seemed pretty solid, and actually, I still kind of think it is. However, we have a post over on Nikon Rumors, and it's entitled Clarification on the Nikon mirrorless camera announcement date. And in this post, they're basically um, kind of covering your bases, kind, kind of CYA, if you will. Um, and he's talking about a quick clarification. And he says, as the title suggested, one week away from the rumored new Nikon full-frame mirrorless camera announcement. But he's wanting to emphasize, he says, that the July 23rd date is just one of the rumored details I have heard about the upcoming Nikon mirrorless camera. I already noticed several websites reporting this rumor as a fact. I've not seen the usual signs that precede a typical Nikon announcement, and I am not sure if the initial announcement will take place next week. So he's basically goes on to say that he just wants to reiterate that this is not a solid fact. Now this is interesting because the Nikon Rumors site gets various information from various sources and then he rates it to how solid he thinks it is, giving it a rating on, you know, how valid it might be or not be, whether or not how much weight you should put on it. But as I said, the original article I was reading was from Engadget. And Engadget's a quite solid magazine. It's a good tech magazine. And um, I kind of, when you read an article in Engadget, it puts a lot of weight on, more so than I would say with Nikon Rumors, who obviously deal in rumors. Uh, Engadget, I think, probably flushed out their sources a little more. And I'm, I would think they probably wouldn't have written that article in the Engadget magazine if there wasn't some solid reasoning for or some solid information for that July 23rd announcement date. So for myself, I'm still thinking that we are going to see um, a July 23rd announcement. It falls right in line with um, some anniversaries and things from Nikon coming up. Uh, I think it's also prudent for their marketing scheme or schedule because Nikon uh, has not had a mirrorless offering other than the old uh, Nikon 1 system, which is now um, showing as not uh, available anymore. It's out of, I guess maybe there's still some stock left, but it's basically marked as an old system and it's not going to be produced anymore type thing when you look at the, at the um, listings and whatnot. We're seeing that showing up now. Uh, discontinued, I guess, would be the term I'm looking for, searching for there. Um, so we haven't seen an APS-C or a full-frame offering from Nikon to compete with the likes of Sony with full-frame and APS-C. Uh, with Canon's APS-C and coming full frame. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Micro Four Thirds stuff that, um, you know, Four Thirds is bigger than the One. So we haven't seen anything really from Nikon to compete on those levels. So I think it's um, at least an announcement is uh, makes sense because even if it's not going to be available perhaps as soon as we might have thought, an announcement on the actual product, what we're going to get, um, I think at this point they should know because they've got to get this thing to market, I think, um, to let people know, hey, we've got this coming. It's going to be awesome. You don't need to go over to Sony. Um, we are in, in competition with Canon still, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, head that off at the pass and give the Nikon faithful and perhaps even the non-Nikon faithful who want to come to Nikon, whether come back to Nikon or come over from Sony or Canon, because I really have some high hopes, some high anticipations for these cameras. I think they're going to be pretty stellar offerings. Obviously, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the number one thing I would like to see addressed in the new Nikon mirrorless cameras, because I think really they're going to nail everything. I don't really have any concern because Nikon does everything well. Just look at the D850. Everything's done very well, except dual pixel autofocus. I know that's Canon's terminology, but we tend to use it for, you know, the way Kleenex is used as a word for tissues. So kind of the brand name that symbolizes everything. So Nikon needs to have something similar to that. Sony has something very good. Panasonic has been constantly tweaking theirs and it's getting very good. Um, Fuji's is excellent. So we need to see something from Nikon competitive in that arena. And that is the one key thing that uh, I have my sites on when it, when the announcement comes out, I want to see what Nikon has done here because I think that's going to be pivotal in how successful these cameras are. 
But let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think the July 23rd date is relevant? Do you think we are going to see it on July 23rd? And what do, what do you think about my thoughts on the um, competitor or something equivalent to a dual pixel autofocus system? Sony is equal to, perhaps even surpassed Canon in this regard. Uh, and those are the two big ones that Nikon needs to be setting their sights on. I mean, they've already said they're aiming at something like the a7 III, so it really, really needs to have something as good or even better than the a7 III's uh, dual-pixel-like autofocus or Canon's dual-pixel autofocus. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? Do you think uh, Nikon uh, realizes that? Do you think they, they are going to nail it? Do you think that's going to be the fly in the ointment? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Curious to see what your thoughts are. Curious to see how excited you are. How excited are you about this July 23rd announcement date? I am. Even if I don't buy my, one of these cameras, I'll definitely be shooting one, be testing one. And the big thing is I'm very interested to see it benefits us all when the competition is successful and brings out progressive advanced products that causes the rest of the competition to catch up or really offer us something even more awesome. So looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.